considered as their contractor for voting machines. Those same documents reveal very little about the company's foreign connections. When asked by the city to list any foreign ownership or investors in either the parent company and or its subsidiaries, Dominion had something to say, but nothing to show. The section you see there on your screen is entirely redacted, blacked out, because Dominion ultimately was denied the contract. In just three months before Dominion's bid, President Trump signed an executive order against foreign interference in our elections. In that order, President Trump wrote, quote, the assessment shall identify to the maximum extent ascertainable the nature of any foreign intervention, interference and any methods employed to execute it, the persons involved and the foreign government or governments that authorized, directed, sponsored, or supported it. The Director of National Intelligence shall deliver this assessment and appropriate supporting information to the President. The question is, was the President ever informed of this attempted bid by a company with foreign ties? And why are they being so secretive? Joining us now by phone, Sidney Powell, a member of President Trump's legal team. Uh, she is also General Michael Flynn's attorney, former federal prosecutor, best-selling author, one of the country's most prominent appellate attorneys. Sidney, good to have you with us. Dominion voting system seems to be figuring larger and larger in the interest of your, your legal team. Uh, and what is the latest? Oh, definitely, Lou. I've just gotten some stunning evidence from a first-hand witness, a, a high-ranking military officer who was present when Smartmatic was designed in a way that the... Um, and I'm going to just read you some of these statements, if you don't mind, so I get them exactly sure. right from, from the affidavit. Designed in a way that the system could change the vote of each voter without being detected. He wanted the software itself to function in such a manner that if the voter were to place their thumbprint or fingerprint on a scanner, then the thumbprint would be tied to a record of the voter's name and identity of, as having voted, but that voter would not be tracked to the changed vote. He made it clear that the system would have to be set up but not leave any evidence of the changed vote for a specific voter and that there would be no evidence to show and nothing to contradict that the name or the fingerprint or thumbprint was going with a changed vote. Smartmatic agreed to create such a system and produce the software and hardware that accomplished the result for President Chavez. After the Smartmatic electrical manage electoral management system was put in place, he closely observed several elections where the results were manipulated using the Smartmatic software. One such election was December 2006 when Chavez was running against Rosales. Chavez won with a landslide over Rosales, a margin of nearly 6 million votes for Chavez versus 3.7 million for Rosales. In 2013, he witnessed another Venezuelan national election where the Smartmatic management right. system was used to manipulate and change the results for Chavez. And it, it goes on and on. He was in the control room where multiple digital display screens were shown for results in voting. The actual voting results were fed into that room and onto the displays over an Internet feed, which was connected to a sophisticated computer system created by Smartmatic. People in that room were able to see in real time whether the vote that came through the electronic voting system was in their favor or against them. If one looked at any particular screen, they could determine that the vote from any specific area or as a national total was going to be against either candidate. Persons controlling the vote tabulation computer had the ability to change the reporting of votes by moving votes from one candidate to another by using the Smartmatic software. Smart and, and Smartmatic, the relation. Smartmatic. Uh, Sydney, I, yes, and uh, Smartmatic, the the chairman uh, is Admiral uh, Pete uh, Neffinger, uh, who is also transition team. Uh, that's an extraordinary uh, situation as well, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. So here's the other kicker. When the Smartmatic machines are, when somebody's losing, like, for example, when Maduro and his supporters realized the size of the other guy's lead, they were worried that they were in crisis mode and would lose the election. The Smartmatic machines used for voting in each state were connected to the Internet, reported their information over the Internet to the Caracas Control Center real-time, 
So the decision was made to reset the entire system. Maduro's and his supporters ordered the network controllers to take the Internet itself offline in practically all parts in Venezuela to change the results. It took the voting operators approximately two hours to make the adjustments in the vote from Radonsky to Maduro. Then when they turned the Internet back on and the online reporting was up and running again, they checked each screen state by state to be certain they could see each vote was changed in favor of Maduro. Sydney, you tweeted earlier uh, today about CIA and its association. Uh, what have you discovered there? Well, other than the fact there's no way all this was happening over around, and around the world without the CIA knowing about it. I mean, that's just logic. Uh, it's been this uh, affidavit also explains it's been used to change election results all over the world. And it's all Venezuelan and Cuban and essentially communist money that's been doing this. It's a foreign owned company. As you mentioned earlier, the president of it is Mr. Neppinger. Uh, who is on Biden's uh, very presumptuous and immediately failing transition team. And people have been reporting this to our government for, for several years, including Democrats, and nobody's done a damn thing about it, Lou. I can't even express how furious I am over this. Well, I, I, I share your, your, your fury and frustration, uh, but I do have some news to break here at this moment. I have uh, now uh, received word from a uh, highly reliable source that the FBI does have an investigative team that is now uh, looking into this election. Now, what that means beyond that, but at least it's confirmation that they are investigating uh, and we'll see what uh, moves, because there had been no indication that indeed publicly that they were involved, uh, they are now. And to that point, I'd just like to show if we could put up the full screen uh, under what uh, their authorities are when we talk about these state-run elections, uh, even though they're federal elections uh, for at least the, uh, a, a sizable number of the candidates. As you see there, uh, the ballot includes one or more federal candidates, an election, a polling place, uh, official of took action. Your thoughts? Well, my other thought is that as soon as the Smartmatic system changed the votes that they wanted for their desired candidate, by the time they finish, they achieve a convincing but narrow victory of the certain number of votes they want for their candidate. This person saw yeah. by what his own experience exactly what was happening there was happening here. It's, uh, it is a deeply, deeply troubling, troubling uh, election. Uh, as I said earlier, the worst in this country's history, bar none. And we have seen official, uh, official investigative and justice uh, uh, department uh, 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 officials slow to move, uh, and it is infuriating to everyone. I, the no, president, we've seen willful uh, blindness. They have adopted a position of yeah. willful blindness to this massive corruption across the country. And the Smartmatic mm. software is in the DNA of every vote tabulating company software and system. Yes, and it is, uh, it is more than just a willful blindness. Uh, this is people trying to blind us to what is going on. We don't even know who the hell really owns uh, these companies, at least most of them. That's got to change, and we've got to find out exactly what's going on. And thank God we've got a president who will stay in the fight all the way through until we get those answers. Sidney Powell, thanks so much. We appreciate it.